James P. Madonna, and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay. What? Oh, were you saying? I was saying something. You were saying something. Uh, saying something I was talking about I was these people in Kentucky. I was talking about Republican governors selfishly rejecting Obamacare out of spite at the expense of poor people who need medical care. And you right. had. I was saying that's nothing new. <clears throat> they do it all the time. And then I, I and yet, guess who supports them? Who supports them for rejecting Obamacare? Rejecting? No, it? supports them by voting for them. The same poor schlobs that they screw. That they're screwing. Exactly. <laughs> the people that are sicking and can't go to the doctor, and the people that don't have a pot to piss in, living in a shack, are the ones that are voting for these Republicans. Exactly. Like Kentucky, Mitch McConnell, Rand Paul. You it's know. important to them <laughs> that we do not tax the rich fairly and that we uh, 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 don't have universal health care. It's important to those poor and that people we don't that allow, those things never occur. And that we stick stick our Pinocchio nose into gay people's private homes oh, and, and make sure bedrooms. and make sure in their bedrooms and make sure they yeah, can't yeah. get married and make sure they can't even exist you know instead of worrying about your own family and your own personal I saw business a post uh, last night I believe and it said something about uh, you know these um, businesses that uh, for their religious uh, convictions they don't want to sell a cake to a gay couple for their wedding or etc etc because it's their religious freedom to do really? that. Uh, the fact of the matter is when you're in business we've been through this in Jim Crow days with the discrimination against blacks you can't sit at the counter we can't serve you uh, We've been through this. Rosa, it's nothing new. Rosa Parks, back of the bus. When you are in business, you sell to anybody with money. That's the law. But they have money. If you had, they all have the same money. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're they're. Uh, yeah. Well, it's it's the hell with your religious freedom or whatever else you're talking about. What it, what you're talking about is is pre civil rights days. Correct. They, they want to go back to that. Exactly. They want to go uh, pre uh, Jim Crow um, laws, right? They want to go back to those laws. They want to go back to the. They laws. want to go back to lynching the blacks, etc. Yeah, etc. Yeah. Well, uh, the, and and these are the people who profess to be closer to God than us uh, uh, liberals, us progressive liberals. Yeah, if you don't know the book, uh, and you only thump it, they have no business mentioning the Bible or God. Um, um, to, hey, and as far as religion, sticking their nose in politics, ah, you want to do that? Pay taxes like everybody else. Tax the churches, especially the mega churches. Uh, you know, bingo. like TV evangelists. All right, formalities. Welcome, formalities. welcome everyone to Uncensored, Hard Hitting Truth. I'm your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, uh, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. I, uh, we are coming to you from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey. Uh, it is the uh, officially the middle of August 2015, and I am here with my illustrious co-host and mentor, and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977, the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? How are you feeling this week, sir? You know, I feel like the show's going to be a big one today. All right. Now, being that you said that, yeah. everything we, we talk about politically is part of our new series, Capitalism in a Conch Shell. Capitalism in a Conch Shell. Feel the energy coming from that conch. Feel the burn, baby. 
Hilla burn! Hilla burn, baby! Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders 2016. Go Bernie Sanders. We are uh, we officially our show and internet talk radio station. Progressive Internet Talk Radio Station officially endorses uh, Bernie Sanders. And I even have a Bernie Sanders bumper sticker hey, hey. on my rear bumper. Capitalism, oh, capitalism in a cock shell and seven rings for capitalism in a cock shell. I love that bell. And while I'm at it, you teabagger boobs out there, everything you've heard about trickle-down economics, the entire fantasy, the entire lie coming from conservative propaganda and, and, and Ronald Reagan about, the late Ronald Reagan, about trickle-down economics, the job creators, it's all a lie, it's all a fantasy. What you have is siphon up to the top, let's say 20%, economics it's all siphons up it doesn't trickle down it just remains in a big lake it pools at the top and forget it you get drips of urine coming down if a you're port, lucky a port shithole pistol down uh -huh. not trickle down it's siphon up economics the devil's economics capitalism mm -hmm. is the devil's economics and uh, who, who's, who's that gem what's that gentleman's name Joe uh, Cordino from the uh, our our Facebook group, uncensored hard hitting truth, the one that was demonizing the words communism and socialism, and oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he was uh, uh, yeah, and you mentioned well something about why 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 even you know I said it was capitalism. I said it was fascism. I says capitalism is is more tied into fascism than well, communism or socialism and he was saying no he was insisting that that communism and fascism he were wasn't synonymous talking about communism or socialism in his mind he was thinking totalitarianism right and you correct thank him. you thank you and he he hasn't re really replied to that because there is no reply. If you look up the definitions, you'll 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 learn them. The political definitions, they're different. Yeah. And then I had mentioned don't go by communism or socialism when the Soviet Union was around. No, it became totalitarian. It's to it became it, they corrupted it, it became totalitarianism. Right. Karl Marx's writings What do you think it is in Red China today? You think that's communism? No. It's totalitarianism. Yeah. Okay. It's not they they. And they, what about Cuba? They tainted same thing. Cuba, uh, when uh, Hugo Chavez was alive in Venezuela, same thing. You know, uh, uh, they. Uh, Karl well, I don't Ma know if Hugo got that far. Karl Marx's system was tainted, corrupted, and it became a front for communism. Means rule by the workers, basically. That's what it is. Ruled by the workers. Um, the hell was I going to say? Nothing to do with totalitarianism or fascism or, you know, dictators. It was um, by these totalitarian military dictators, which most likely is what they are, what they were, were and Stalin, are. Lenin. All the same. They used Karl Marx's. Uh, uh, concept as a front yeah. to what they were doing, just like conservative right wingers use the Bible and, and God as a front for their evil. Yeah, and it is evil. And capitalism. Let us not forget that. Capitalism in the United States is not God's. Uh, uh, Economics, or and it's not God's main office either. They seem to think God is on the side of of conservatives, capitalism, and America. But in 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 reality, in reality, the United States and Great Britain, the United Kingdom, are modern day descendants of Ephraim and Manasseh. They are cursed. They are they are modern day descendants of 
uh, two of the, what is it, the cursed, lost ten tribes? The ten tribes of Israel. Of ancient Israel. Yeah, but the point is that God condemns usury. And what do we do in this great capitalistic system? What the hell is it based upon? Non-stop. Except usury. Non-stop usury. Damn. Non-stop usury. Um, now, is it true Megyn Kelly uh, got the axe? Uh, I don't know if she got the total axe, but she is on hiatus. Maybe she's suspended. Long According to Mr. Roger Isles. Now, okay. uh, 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 this motherfucker, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Andy Borowitz of The New Yorker, Was he? does he write satire or is he serious about criticizing Bernie Sanders for the second time in his article. I'm just wondering. About what? He was what nitpicking and, and I don't know. It was, it, was, it was very critical. It was the second article from the New Yorker by Andy Borowitz. Did he call him a self-proclaimed socialist? I'm just wondering. Because that is a prejudiced term. I wonder if he's a corporate whore, Andy Borowitz. Well, of course he works for a corporate whore. The New Yorker. Yeah. So I would imagine, with his paycheck coming from the corporate whore... Yeah, well, you know what? But the point of it is, today, that's an insult when uh, most of the people yak about... Self-proclaimed? Uh, yeah, self-proclaimed socialists. Well, you like that. Could a, so a self-proclaimed socialist become president of the United States? Well, he's drawing a lot of people. You know? Everywhere he goes, it's going up, 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 up. The amount of people showing up, man, I think he's up to the highest is 29. 28,000. 28,000 is the highest California. so far. Pretty soon, they're going to have to put him in the arenas. The sports, indoor sports arenas. You know? I mean, uh, 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 now you saw that banner that explained the definition of what a democratic socialist is. And explains that it is not. Now, again, we're talking labels. I dismiss labels entirely. Yeah. But it's like, it's like Northern Europe, more or less. Yeah, supposedly a democratic socialist. The point of it all is one of the better ways of running the economy, especially today, right. would be that in a democratic society, we, the government, should own the means of production. We, in our land with our uh, uh, minerals and etc., we take the minerals out of the ground and right. we sell them and gain the profit. We don't turn it over to some private company, some crony yeah. well, of ours. What you're saying is originally, according to the uh, original one and only United States Constitution, we the people are supposed to be the boss of America. Uh, yeah. not, not the top 1%. Yeah. Majority rules. No, in a democratic society. No, uh, um, um, is the one percent a majority? No, one percent buying elections. Uh, uh, no gerrymandering. No tampering with uh, with elections. No um, um, scamming uh, voter ID requirements that people get a second voter ID that they have to pay for yeah. instead of using the only ID that Americans need. And that is a your basic digital hologram ID from the the motor vehicles. Where's your motor vehicles? A photo ID. That's what all you need. People don't drive. What? Where's your ID from the uh, uh, registering the vote? They never gave me the card. Well, what the hell do you present them with when you go in there to vote? I guess they got to know me. I walk up there. No, no, no. You have to present it. I walk up there, and the uh, the old ladies flirt with me at the table, and uh, they say, "What, what, what's your address? What area of, of the town are you living?" I give them my address. They they look it up. They go, "Oh, there you are." 
uh, just sign here and print here, and then they give me the stub, and well, I turn around and I go and vote. I can't do it now, but maybe next week I'll 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 get mine out of my wallet and have it present and show you what the hell it is. I don't mind. I I I, I don't. Oh, but I, I don't. I don't mind it. showing them this. I didn't pay for it. But you get it when you register. You, if you listen, if you are an American citizen. Or, or I, are people with green cards, are they allowed to vote? No. Uh, permanent resident? Not, right. not till they get naturalized. Okay, naturalized. Right now, they're synthetic. Right now, they're in limbo. They're in limbo. Limbo. Those are the levity bells. Not the calypso, they're doing the limbo. Da, 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 Anyway. <laughs> Reverend Bill got all excited and he and he started emphasizing, so he deserves oh, some bells. Yes. But um, if you're an American citizen, that's all you need. Now, in order for me to get this this digital hologram photo uh, driver's license, they also have IDs for motor vehicle that are not driver's licenses, but you know you can get a good you can get a photo ID. Usually kids. Anyway, anyway. You have to pay for it, though. In order to to get this, you have to show proof of address where you live. You have to show your original birth certificate with the raised seal on it. You have to prove who you are. Now, once you get and this, then you have to take a test. No, I'm not talking. I'm not talking. No, I'm not talking. I'm sorry. What it is? I'm not talking about. This, You're talking about a driver's life. I'm not, well, of course I had to take those. That was when I was 17 years old. There you go. I had a written test and I had a drive uh, a road test. Well, many people don't have. But a driver's I license. have to renew this every four few, years, four years yeah. and pay a fee to renew it. Yeah. And when I renew it, uh, I don't have to show. I only have to show the original birth certificate when I move. When I, I have a change of address. But if my address is the same, I just have to show proof that I'm living here. And that's it. This is all you need to vote as an American. I don't care what race you are or gender or, or, or where, you know, uh, or your religion or whether you're gay or straight, male, female, young, old, it doesn't crooked? matter. What about crooked? Well, even, even the crooks. <laughs> crooked. Crooked. Oh, you, you mean said like straight? I said oh, uh, yeah. oh boy! <laughs> you know you can vote. You should vote, and you shouldn't have to pay. And voting should be vote. a holiday. And I hear as Mr. Bernie Sanders would like. Election day should be a national holiday. That's correct. Absolutely, and um, and it um, it would ensure that people have a hell of a lot less excuses why they didn't vote mm -hmm. if they vote if, if election day they could still vote if they're working that day they just have to go in the it's, evening it's a hassle and especially then if that they stand in line hey okay if, for if, four hours if you're, from poor, if you're poor or middle class it's a much bigger hassle That's correct. when the republicans get control of the country hey. so what hassle do you want the hassle of going there and waiting, or the hassle of getting your having your life screwed royally. You know, think about it. Well, obviously, a lot of people like their lives screwed royally. It seems because like they it. do vote for uh, Republicans. Yeah, but they, now, voted. they haven't voted for. In the la I think it's in the last five elections, only once did they vote for a Republican president. But, you know, I mean, people had the wrong idea about a president. A president is not a dictator. He doesn't make the laws. He doesn't do that. He's not that powerful. He, he's like the coach of, a, of an NFL football team. He has a team. Yeah. If the team fucks up, don't blame everything on the coach. That's why you, you jabronis out there, you knuckleheads, you numbskulls, you imbeciles, should have voted last November the 4th, 2014. 
you should have gone and voted. And thanks to you, now, you know, poor old President Obama had a buckheads continuously. With a, with, with a Republican Senate and a Republican House. Yep. Yeah. That's what happened. And, um, but anyway, let me say hello, greetings to my near dear friend from Osaka, Japan, Miho. Greetings, Miho. And, um, and that's about it because uh. nobody really, even my administrators on Facebook, uh, no, they don't no one apologize last they night. They don't really. Yeah, the guy, the uh, the administrator that, Joe? from yeah from um, uh, this group is about nothing. The the anything goes crazy wacky group that I have. He's the only one that apologized, but nobody else. Nobody, no, none of my Facebook people really pay attention to what we do here. Our fans come from elsewhere. Well, Mr. Spears uh, wrote me a uh, little thingy last night, wherein uh, there was a post up there, I think it was Ben Carson, put up about Margaret Sanger. Yeah. You know, uh, wanting to get rid of blacks. He wanted, he inboxed you? Spears. Did he inbox you or just public? Uh, uh... Inbox. Whatever. Oh, oh, okay. Came in my email. Oh, okay. He, Spears mentioned you. Yeah, right, that kind of thing. But anyway, I mean, we, then I had mentioned that Margaret Sanger was into eugenics. Justin Dana Spears of Oklahoma. And he was saying, yeah, but like everybody was into it in those days. They wanted to improve the, the species and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, Jimmy the Greek Snyder he got fired for that. Yeah. He was right. They did selective breeding with uh, with livestock, with pets, well, and with the slaves. Point. The point was that Margaret Sanger, the, one of the uh, uh, the uh, founders of Planned Parenthood, she was into eugenics at that time. Right. And that was to try to improve the race. Now, whether she wanted to exterminate blacks and disabled and et cetera to improve the race, I'm I'm not I'm not you know I'm not up on that. But it was possible back then because, because when people were into eugenics, I mean Hitler was into it too. They weren't into it being benign. They wanted to improve the race, and to improve the race, you had to get rid of certain bad bad genes. Uh, yeah, anybody what's who the word I'm looking for uh, bad you, seeds, a bad no uh, when you. Uh, when you have a, uh, 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 when you have your genes, and then they they don't come out right. Fucked up. P yeah, that's one word. But I'm there's a there's a word. It, it Fucked up beyond recognition. Me. Escaping me at the moment. Well, I mean, just look look at <clears throat> take um, a thoroughbred racehorse for 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 instance. You take. A horse that wins the triple crown it's, let's say it's a, a stallion a male mm. of course when you Black put stallion. when you put him out to stud oh, yeah. you're not gonna mate him with mares that have g genetic defects you're gonna mate him with the best mares to get the best offspring because you want to to emphasize the the his better quality the better qualities That's great. and that is a perfect you don't want bulldogs now okay. let's let's be fair. Now let's be fair. It's not fair to the bulldog. The original bulldog that was used in the, the cruel sport of bull baiting in England back in the day was different. Was much more athletic. Did not. Yeah, he could breathe better. Did not have breathing problems. Yeah. Did not have as much of a, of a of a jowly. He, yeah. he was he was a a super. He was a superior looking, muscle bound, yeah. functional, athletic dog. There's the word, functional. Functional. He was a working dog. You know, uh, uh, um, not bred for exaggerated features. Uh -huh. That's what I'm trying to get That's at. That's what I'm trying to get I'm not saying that bulldogs are not in great shape because I've seen videos of the 
present day English Bulldog and 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 I've seen them uh, 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 picking up a, a uh, skateboard in their mouth carrying it putting it down on the street and, and skateboarding, skateboarding all over the place <laughs> I've even seen them surfing I'm not saying they're not athletic now but they were much more athletic so what they did was they being that the sport was illegal uh, uh, it was outlawed they started going for the uh, exaggerated features mm -hmm. Of a bulldog, and it That's became, you know. So what he's saying is, quality genetics are generally emphasized in breeders, and uh -huh. they and they did it with slaves. Now, yes. Now Ben Carson, the idiot, he's supposed to know better because he's a, a, neurosurgeon. a, a neurosurgeon. He says Planned Parenthood uh, uh, really wants to exterminate black people in America. Is that, is that what he said? That's what he said. How do you exterminate? How many? What about what about all the uh, all these extra babies that are born? Who's going to take care of all these extra babies that are born? Because you don't have Planned Parenthood and you do not have sex education and birth control for the population, for the poor and mainstream. Who's going to take care of all these extra babies? Ben Carson, are you? Democrats. <laughs> Democrats are going to yeah. take care of them. Then they won't have any money to, uh, you know, they don't put in social programs. They don't think long term. Is what I'm getting. No at. way. They don't. The Republicans never ever think long term. Jeez. Anyway, let us sink our teeth. You could actually say that they never think. Well, in the you case know? of Sarah Palin and exactly. and, and, and that cute little a uh, 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 brazen Bristol who loves the pistol, who keeps getting knocked up. Nah, they don't have any brains. No. Or the other one that's irrelevant, Michelle Bachman, Turner Overdrive. Uh, uh, um, like right now, you're, you're talking about Ben Carson. He's uh, in polling. He's number two to Trump right now. The man has nothing. He had nothing in the debates. He has nothing before the debates. And the supporters of him, at least one of them that, you know, came to me face to face, talks of him in in terms of the old Republican Party, which doesn't exist anymore. You mean the the, the old Republican Party of Lincoln, Lincoln. Eisenhower, and Teddy Teddy Roosevelt? Yeah, doesn't exist. No, there was a switch back in the days before civil rights law was put into effect. The the, the Dixiecrats changed sides. Yeah, uh, George Wallace. Yeah. Of Alabama. He was a Democrat. He was a he was a Dixiecrat Democrat, yes. racist, and yes. a, after the civil rights laws went into place, they all switched. They all they jumped switched. ship. Became That's Republicans. what Lyndon Baines Johnson said. He said that uh, you know be, because of the law, we are going to lose the South for generations because they're not going to vote that Democrat anymore. You know, he was absolutely he was right. absolutely right. Of course, he they was. all they all became red states. And the and the Western states that have right wing fundamentalists, evangelicals, more Mormons, whatever you want to call them, Southern Baptists, they're all part. They're all in those states too. And these are the bubbleheads that think that a fertilized egg is a human baby. Yeah, idiots. You know, no proof, no proof, no evidence at all. Um, they believe they're doing God's yeah. work. That's the yeah. big problem. I just want to say, I think that Carly Fiorina should compete. She's number three with Ann Coulter as two of the ugliest, ugliest conservative women who ever lived. I think Fiorina is actually uglier than Coulter. Well, some things that people are not bringing up about her is the fact that uh, I believe she drove four con uh, companies into the ground, she shipped jobs overseas, you know, and Hewlett Packard kicked her the hell out. You know what? If, if she if she debated Donald Trump, I bet he'll bring it up. Oh, uh, of course he will. Oh, he'll bring it up. See, I gotta, I, you know what? I'll never ever vote for the guy, but I, you know what? But he's bringing up a lot of good stuff. His outspokenness is very refreshing. Yeah. So I salute Donald Trump 
I love his outspokenness. It's part of his entertainment quality. And he's honest. He'll expose you if you're his opposition. Yeah, if you hit him, he'll hit back. Yeah. Uh, whoa, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, I, I got to admit, Fox, uh, oh, aside from their looks, this other blonde, uh, uh, Su Sushal, from Fox News, she said a horrible, despicable things about Jimmy Carter being oh, sick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sushal. It's like capital S C H U S S E I. I think that's the last night. Horrible, like like almost wishing he would he was dead. Yeah, he died of cancer already. They did the same thing with uh, um, um, uh, Joe Biden's son. They ridiculed well, that. Remember Fox back News. in uh, twenty uh, 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 four, was it twenty fourteen uh, with the elections? Yeah. Uh, Ron Paul was talking, and et cetera, or whatever, and uh, uh, basically uh, he was saying that, you know, if you don't have the health insurance, you, you end up dying. And they applauded! Yeah! They love that! And these are the Ron, Ron Paul people from out yonder and Demda. They're Republicans. Oh, they, that That's was all good. That's need to know. So they want, they want the genocide of the, uh, they want to call the herd. They want the poor to either work as slaves or die. Yeah. And they want the middle class to vanish, to dissolve it like certainly an... certainly has vanished. To dissolve like an Alka-Seltzer plus ta uh, tab. It just dissolve. Effortant. Effort, Effortant. Effortant. To clean well, your dentures. Well, for, for, you, for you... Let's clean out the middle class. For you class. folk out there. Uh, oh, by the way, Medicare doesn't pay for... Uh, for dentures or any of that stuff. It no, it, it, it only pays for it. Uh, it only, as far as eyes and etc., like uh, eyeglasses or something, it doesn't pay for that shit. But it will cataracts. That's all. Oh, you, oh, they 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 won't buy. They won't pay for a, the, a, 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 a examination for glasses yeah. or something, or, or if you need glasses. No, they don't. Not, pay for they that won't shit. pay for a Honda or a Lincoln Continental to pay for a cataract. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh. You digress. And oh, Medicare I digress. will bitch and bitch and bitch about paying for an electric uh, wheelchair for people. They make you jump through all kinds of hoops and etc. Oh, by the way. I knew there was a bite Where the hell did I put it? I knew there was a bite away in there. It's like the wheelchair on Seinfeld where the woman was had no brakes and she was going down the hill. Where the hell what? did I put it? Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, I hope you don't lose it. But let's I let's didn't. sink our teeth. Yeah, well, I didn't lose it, but I, I don't remember where I put it now. Uh -huh. I wanted to read... I wanted to read my latest letter. Oh. The record newspaper did not print it, but the community news did. The record did not print it? That's correct. You... Corporate whores, the Bergen record, how you disgust me. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. How dare you not print Dr. Bill's article? Because I collect them. If you if you have one that I can uh, put it in your your file in your well, I could send you the original email, and you can do what the hell you want with it. I don't no, know. No, I, I need the image. Of the article, the image. No rush. You know, I put well, it. I ain't gonna I, get the image. How I, am I gonna get the image? I no, don't have the, my my thing doesn't work. I have not learned how to do it yet. My goddamn. No, uh, you don't need it. I take I take it with my high definition webcam, my Logic Tech. I take the. Oh, button. well, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, then remind me. Yeah. Next week. Gotta love it. Technology. Gotta love uh, it. High definition Logic Tech webcam. Now I don't need to buy a scanner. You can take it with that. Got a lot. Take it with the shillelagh. With this. No, no, no. My, it's more. Uh, uh, it's more eight high definition with my with my. Believe it or not, with my. Well, you have to be very careful because I only have two copies. Oh no! I would safeguard it. Oh yeah. I, I take Put it. it in, would you laminate it? I take it with a black background so it stands out, and then I crop it. Then I enlarge it. 
then I, if it needs adjustment with lighting, the contrast, the lighting, I do all that. I doctor it up. It certainly would be easier just to take the text from the email. No, I want people. I there. want people. I want the public to see the nice. actual article in the newspaper, that, which will verify that Doctor Bill, Doctor Bill's article was in the paper. Well, that's not the important thing. Yes, it's important to me. It's important what the damn article was about. No, no, it's important that a newspaper loved you, liked you enough to put your article in it. Kudos from, so in other from, a, from words, a newspaper. Yeah, but you, Kudos. You know what you're doing by that? What? What am I doing? You are elevating the newspaper over the person that did the article. Listen, I, I, I had a discussion with him about this years ago. If if Palooka, if a Palooka that lives in a neighborhood that talks like this, uh, has writes a brilliant article, but nobody acknowledges it enough to put it in their newspaper, I'd say, hey, there goes a smart man. Funny looking, he talks like a retard, but there goes a smart man. But he ain't going nowhere unless somebody acknowledges it. That's why in the Bible, yeah, God always chooses somebody important. No, they never. have a newspaper. Never. The Palooka doesn't have a newspaper. Doesn't matter. They have a magazine. The Moses. Pa the Palooka doesn't have one. Moses stuttered. Aaron had to do his. Yak inform it. But Moses, God always chooses but, the lower down. But that's but God picked the him. Humble. God is much higher than a newspaper. God selected but him. But the people, you are talking about what the people will say. You got exposure, that's the word I'm thinking of. You need you need the publication when you say that to verify. No. You are elevating them and giving them more power when you do that. Then how does one... You are saying... All right, if listen I, to what you are saying. If I show the if word... If a person goes on Fox News... Right. ...and spouts their shit, the fact right. that they were on Fox News means they are important or their thing was important. No, it doesn't. Not at all. Then why would, would titles are worthless? Why would a major network invite people that are that are not important then on the show? Why would they even invite anybody? They won't. Somebody must. Somebody must think highly enough of someone to have them but, on. But again, can't you see what you're doing? You are allowing that person that you are elevating to do your choices for you. To do your thinking listen, for you, listen. to do whatever Bernie, you are elevating. Bernie them. Sanders, independent Bernie Sanders, had to run as a Democrat Correct. to get that face time that he needs. He left the Democratic Party way back when to be an independent. He had to rejoin it in order to get the exposure. So let, let's, let's say, compare it to that. Well, let's not compare it to that because then again you're elevating. He's always he's always you're picking a fight with party. me every fucking Saturday. You're elevating. I'm trying to have you think these things through. I don't want to think because credentials, credentials, credentials. See? That's the problem. Credentials. That's the problem. The newspaper article means that you're a somebody. God pisses on credentials. You got you have something on your computer on a word document. All right, it sounds good. It sound, it may sound brilliant, but it ain't going anywhere unless a publication that's well known likes you and recognizes and it. And what are you doing when you do that? You are saying the same thing with capitalism. You don't want to reform the system. You don't want to change it. Hey, I'll work within. It. How do you get people's attention unless they know, "Hey, this guy had a newspaper article." Wow. How do you get their attention? That's a big problem. You know, by, 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 
dirty. By arguing with me and busting my fucking it's balls, not you're, you're sucking up all the the article exactly. time. Exactly. You're sucking it up again. Another Saturday. Bust them like then. Fucking take it gun. home and meditate on it. <laughs> And don't argue it out. I hope I didn't break my belt. I am explaining something very important. I am explaining that that what is the powers that is the what you are still elevating. You are trying to work within that system. No, I want the system changed. Listen, if I don't want goddamn Fox News nobody's gonna or MSNBC listen, or anything else you, to be if, if powerful, you, more powerful than the individual. If you uh, sorry, if, if Jesus came on the scene today and he was um, just a regular Joe six pack, or maybe he was a homeless guy, you think our society is got? You think the cameras are gonna point to, on him? No. So is today? the problem with him or the society? It's the society, but Fine. you but you then gotta change you, you it. You gotta get the exposure to get the message out. What it's, are you gonna do? You gonna sit home and jerk off with with, with a, a, a a thousand and one beautiful, you do. brilliant articles? You oh, look do. at all my articles. Look at look look at all my books. You do what God says. What do you do? Preach it around the world. How do you do it without exposure in publications and magazines? Exactly. And but what shows. do you do when they don't expose you? You just keep because they have the power to do because so. You keep on plugging along until you find somebody that will. Bingo. You like but there's a better way. What? Take the power from them. You know what? As much as I try, I bet if I took a tranquilizer before I come here, it might not even work. Meditate. How do see? I'm a I'm a take the bull by the horns kind of guy. But you're a guy. I like to make things happen. Remember when Freddie Glassy went on the Tonight Show with Muhammad Ali, and he was like, "Hey, my 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 man is a number one. He's a champion. You gotta be proactive and assertive and take the bull by the horns. If you wanna work within the the system that is, if you don't, then there's another way." That's my point. What? I don't like the system way. Lady Luck. That's why you won't do an interview if, um, if let's say, um, uh, the Young Turks guy, Sank, wanted to do an interview with you with a camera in front of you. You won't do it. You want to you low profile, laid back, low profile. I would tell him to read the newsletter. I would tell him to watch the Saturday show. What the hell do I got to do an interview for? Because it puts stuff. you on the map. Woo! But again, you don't want me on the map. All right. You want the That's stuff it. That's on the it. map. Let us sink our teeth into these readings because I don't want people to see me with my veins popping out every Saturday. Meditate on it. Fuck it. I'm tired of this crap. Every goddamn Saturday. Meditate on it. Pray it. Yelling. yelling. Sink your teeth into the ratings, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to do I'm trying to do something positive, getting exposure where where more people can see it and read it. And you don't believe in that. What's That's so big what what's I so said. big a deal is it to give me the article? That's not when you're I done said. with it. We're not talking about the article. I'll try to find it at home, maybe. We're not I don't even know. I'll, I'll ask the lady upstairs. She she takes all. We're not all, talking about the article. She takes all article. When I take a, a, a an image of the fucking article, it shows that your article was allowed and chosen to be in a newspaper. What do you call it when you credentials? It's like having a resume. It says what? master's degree. Calm down. Now I'm trying to educate the you. The master's degree. Versus the masturbator. What are you going to pick if you're Joe Six? You want to be educated or not? What is it called when you give a book to a publisher seeking publication, or you 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 you, you uh, send in a letter to the uh, uh, newspaper? It's what is it called? You're trying to bust my balls. What is it called in front of the public again? A submission. Well, the fuck do I know about what the publishing industry? How the fuck do I know about the publishing industry? 
Well, anybody knows what a submission is. What is it? What's everybody a, knows what a submission is. What's a submission hold in our wrestling? Maybe you'll understand it. Through so that. that's a submission hold. Aha! Uh -huh. Somebody that works in Dunkin' Donuts knows what a submission hold. Uh, I mean, a, a submission to in publishing. And who has the power? So you submit it. Who the, has the power then? The editor of the publication. We're talking about the wrestler. Who has the power then? The one that applies the submission. Thank hold. you. That's my point entirely. You, you, I don't go for that. If you think the humble and the meek are going to are going to the meek are shall inherit get, the earth. If you think the meek, the mama Luke's, I, I use the, the word. Meek shall if you think the, the meek earth. down at rock bottom, at the bottom of the well, are going to get their message out, and people are going to are going to read it and see it and respect it, just he, without having a publication or an interviewer from a network expose what you have to say you ain't going nowhere you're not getting out of that well suppose you were in china and you wrote something. this guy has to win he has to win win education win education is not winning or losing you're not grasping what i'm, I'm not saying. oh i grasp it no you don't i disagree with you fine then say you disagree but I'm saying meditate on it. If I lived in China and I wrote something against the government, it wouldn't get published because the government has the power. I don't like that. They'll censor it. That's my point it, entirely. It's similar to Bernie Sanders running as a Democrat. He ain't going to get the goddamn FaceTime if he runs as an independent. And why is that a problem? I don't. I think it's not a good idea. Is that Bernie's problem or the system's problem? It's the system. Thank you. That's my point. Buddy, entirely. but he had to do it. He had to. I don't care about what he had. He to may. Do. He might not have liked to do it, but he had to do it. That's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. I don't like that system, and I want to change. Well, it's not. It's not the the nicest. As system. the Bible says. The first shall be last, and the last shall be first. And if you're a writer, what the, Bi what the Bible says doesn't apply because you're, you'll never go anywhere as a writer. If you're a writer, oh yes you will. If you work within the system. Uh, well, well, Which you want them to do. Well, I'm not saying to change your article. To Nobody's talking them. about changing the article. I'm saying that if you're We're talking in, about power now, and who has the power? All this would have been avoided if he would have said, "Sure, when I'm done with it, you can have the newspaper article." The article is not in question. See what I mean? He's just see what I mean. He's just gotta. He's just gotta. Uh, he's just gotta gotta educate. be the know-it-all and 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 belittle belittle everybody around him. He just gotta do that. He can't just give, so, you know what, I'll find your newspaper article somewhere else. Don't give me the newspaper article. I don't care. So every time you I don't bring care. up capitalism in a talk show, I have a you are belittling other people? I have a, well, it, well it, that's what you just capitalism said. is the devil's economics. Well, aren't you belittling then the uh, people saying it? Well, if they're, if they're evil and wrong, yeah, of course Well, we I don't am. know that. Sure, I know it. They're conservative right-wingers. You, you know that. But you just knew what, what I was trying to uh, uh, teach you here. You knew better. You disagree. I, I deal with facts, brother. Well, what the hell did I just deal with? I gave you the facts. And I gave you I the facts. I told fa you I don't like Fox News and I, having I, power and over I, me. And I fully understand your view. Man. And I also fully understand that it makes you look better when people see the article online the actual article that's online your idea. it makes you look better that's your idea just like a person with a PhD is going to get more attention when he gets up and speaks than Joe Palooka across the street but that doesn't mean what he says is going to be accurate is going to be true is going to be no it just it relevant. just shows that he has expertise in his God field. is not a respecter a person. He looks at the heart. Well, if, if somebody is going to do a colonoscopy on you, you want him to be a board-certified doctor, don't you? 
Ben Carson is a board certified neurosurgeon. I wouldn't let him work on my nose. <laughs> well, he's he, he, politically he's in the, he's he's not a nice man, but you know. Well, I'm sure what are you he. Saying? I'm sure he knows how to perform neurosurgery. You know. Well, he cut apart Siamese twins. And that's not, that's a risky uh, operation. Yeah. You know, and did it successfully? They but that's the problem. Yeah. If a person educates himself in one area, let's say neurosurgery, oh, Jesus Christ. and he neglects other areas, why is he sticking nose in the places he don't understand? And making opinions about it. You see? That's the you know what? Uh, my message to the, the gentleman that left a message on YouTube last week telling me to chill out. How am I going to chill out when I know that what I'm saying is correct? I'm not saying Bill, Dr. Bill is wrong, but what I'm saying I know is correct. So when somebody is not acknowledging that what I'm saying is factual. How am I supposed to keep my composure? Now, who's, who was not acknowledging that what you were saying was not? I said, an that again. is the system. I want it changed. Well, wait, wait for Jesus to come back and he'll, he'll change it for you. No, then they, the, the system will be different then. Well, it'll be... It'll and my be. stuff will not be printed under Jesus. Well, you wouldn't need it. Okay. You wouldn't need to worry about writing articles for the local newspaper. Well, there you go. But that the, the point is, we're not waiting for Jesus to come back for anything of that nature. What do you want it to do? We you want to change the system that is. So I, I don't like so corporations I have to, in power. So in, I don't like the rich So in, in the goddamn folder, I'm supposed to put Word documents of your article not proving that it was an actual article in a newspaper. I'm supposed to just put word docs in there and that's supposed to wow and woo people. Con ten. Yeah, Con just, just like ten. you 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 say it doesn't matter if you have a plain, dull, conservative website. As long as the content is there, uh -huh. you, 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 the background don't count, the no. font don't count, the nothing counts. Just have a boring uh uh, uh ultra stuffy website. Huh? Who said it's boring? Visually, it's not. It's not aesthetically no, but that's you appealing. Saying that. You are saying. Well, that. well, you get some stuffy accountant that looks like Woody Allen. He might love it. There you go. Bingo. Down on people like that. But we're not loving websites. We're we're we're, we're reading content. You know what? During the recent debate. Now you got less time. We don't worry about time. What is this? No, Las because Vegas? you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to bang out many readings. Who cares? Well, why are we doing the show? There's next week. There's always next week. And then next week the same the thing will week. happen. And the week after the same thing will happen. And, and then you'll have all these readings all piling I'm up sure like Mount people. Everest. You I'm can't sure. you can't win when somebody's trying to bust your balls, deliberately bust your I'm balls sure. every goddamn week. If people work up to this point in this show and see uh, 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 you know uh, see this show and etc. and they understand this disagreement yeah. They would say, James, you're not thinking straight. No, I'm thinking factual, God damn it. I'm we, giving we you facts. I'm we, giving you facts. Within the system. Can't you grab I'm giving that? no, I'm giving you facts. Oh within the I'm system. I'm gonna have to do a show and talk and finish this, not with you, but with somebody else. Good. I'm gonna have to do another show. Good. Is that gonna be proof? Sure it is, because I'm going to present the proof. Where is the proof? The proof is nobody focuses on some jabroni that just has his ideas on a Word document. They respect people that have articles. They respect people that are on television, that are invited somewhere. James, you think too small. I told you I'm thinking the small. system is bad. It's corrupt. I want to change it. You don't care if you're in a newspaper or not, do you? This, uh, where do you bring up this stuff? That that was how it started. No, it didn't. That's how it all started. No, it didn't. 
You don't want to give. You me. wanted fan. You wanted uh, 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 bangles and frills and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, that's what I have within on the, a system. That's what I have on the. And I uh, told you that I didn't like that system. That's what I have on the uh, the radio station. I have all kinds of bangles and frills. Oh, here we go. And it looks good. Forget it looks about damn it. good. Forget about it. You are you are incorrigible. Right. You are unteachable. So what is it that is so hard to teach? That which they already think they listen, know. I'm going to show you. All right. Pretend this is a word document. Um, from your anybody's computer, it's con pretend there's brilliant content on it. Ooh. Somebody's hard drive. All right, the guy can write. The guy's got talent. The guy's smart as hell. Take the same content and put it in your uh, largest local newspaper. Tell me what the average person would focus on first and be impressed by. That newspaper article, not. A, a, a word doc off of some schmuck's computer hard drive. You know what? You're hanging around these people from the from this 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 again, this village too much. A bunch of stupid again. drug addicts and alcoholics and retards. Now, what does that have to do with the issue? You're not making common sense. What does that sense. have to do with the issue? You're not making common sense. I'm making. A, this is what I'm saying. You better have an independent person uh, 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 view this right. portion. Okay. And come up with an idea that's because I, he's going to tell you, that's James, what I was going you're to not do. thinking. That's what I was going to do. But who's that independent person? Is he working within the system too? Does he like the system? Does so, he like the corrupt, the rich, and the corporations having? So power? why have this folder with a few of Dr. Bill's newspaper articles oh, that boy, I put there? Go. Why even have it? James, he doesn't care about you're it. not thinking straight. I'm telling you how many times. Now just shut your mouth for a while. It shows. And let me explain this again. Have, don't, let it go in the ears. Don't, listen, don't ever go. If, if you had to start start your life over again, don't go on job interviews with a resume. Here we because go. you don't believe in credentials and in and and and, and kudos and, uh, and look at all the people that are working for the government who have faked their resumes. Oh boy, that got them what they wanted, that's didn't what you, it? That's what you say. No, that's what a study says. They faked their it resumes. It got them what they wanted, didn't well, they? They must have had cronies and friends in high places to get hired, right? No, they had people who hired them who only looked at the, re the, the resumes and didn't look at the heart. Ah, the That's hard. Right. You don't hire somebody for that. You hire somebody for their brain, what they could do on the job. God hires for the heart. Forget about that. We're talking about the material world. Ah, exactly. The Bible and 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 and, and, the, and, gentlemen. and the Torah and the Quran doesn't apply to ladies to and the gentlemen. material world. We have hit upon it now doesn't apply. God's economics are, doesn't apply. You are part of the system and you like the system. I didn't you say are I a like fake it. reformer. I didn't say I like it. You just said it. That's what is and I'm going to abide by it. You see, he lately he's challenging me because maybe... Challenging he, you to think. No, no. He's, he, he belittles what I say every week Instead of come clean and just tell me he doesn't want to do the goddamn show anymore. See again, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? I I I I, I get suspicious of everybody. Exactly. One of your bad faults. Everyone I'm suspicious. One of your of. faults. Should be worked on. Meditate on it. Yeah, yeah, meditate on it. You like the system be, as it is. Be like Gary No, be a Pollyanna. Gary No is not a Pollyanna. Why would you say that? And what does he have to do with this good situation right well, now we're talking about? He, he thinks calling um, somebody a corporate horse. On his page. Come on. Stop this nonsense. This thing is over with. It's finished. Well, he doesn't. He obviously doesn't like the term. No. He doesn't like you doing it on his page. Go out in the street. Go on your page. Anybody else's page. Do it. He don't want you on it, doing it on his page. Very simple. He has a right to that. Yeah, and I have a right to do this. Exactly. But it don't do anything for you, does it? No. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay.
Well, I, I told them. You no, you're not. The, your opinion is not the only opinion in the world. I told them, okay. And I took it off. Fine. But what's that to do with my what not I'm gonna win, about? Not going to win many wars as a progressive. If you, if you don't get tough progressives out there, oh. you're not going to win the battle. You trying to educate them now? You're not going to win the battle. You're trying to educate them now. You're, try, you're, you're afraid of, of, of offending a corporatist rich person by using that term because you or feel maybe, it's too harsh. Maybe it just had to do with he don't like negativity. What oh does yeah, that have to do with that stuff. Oh yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna fight the forces of evil with that kind of pacifist, pussy, hipster, 1960s flower child liberalism. You're not gonna win nothing. You're gonna be a victim, He's not you per se. Job. But huh? He's doing a good job. It's working. No, no, it's not working. When he counsels a person. Counsels. You don't counsel persons with negativity. There's a holy war going on. There's a war going on. You Class counsel war. counsel them with positivity. Well, that's counseling. Yeah, yeah. And we're yeah, talking yeah. about well, what what's going on doing? in a world. It's a, there is a spiritual and class war going on. You can't... Only you, if you believe the Bible. You just said... That, uh, well, you can't sugarcoat. You, you, you just said forget about what God was. 1960s, flower yeah, child, Pollyanna, pacifist, Ultra liberal. You can't call somebody a corporate whore because it's too harsh. Oh, you're Nobody a real so you're a real Nobody so said that. You and Gary are real soldiers to the, to the progressive movement. Real soldiers. Not yeah. on his page. All right. Well, obviously he doesn't. Simple as that. He feels it's too harsh. Well, why are we talking about Gary? We're talking about me. the system. Getting back to the other thing. I still say Joe Sixpack likes to look at the newspaper article over your a piece Nobody of paper. is arguing that. Well, what with are you, you trying to say? Now listen he, carefully. He's trying to belittle listen me like carefully. he does every fucking week. I think it's generational. Go ahead. Listen carefully. I never said you were wrong. I said I don't like that system. I want it changed. You also said you, you, you don't want to give me the article. No, I didn't. At the beginning. I said you will be careful with the article. That's what of I said. Of course I'll be careful. I, I'm well, careful. what does that have to do with you won't I'm careful with the, the article. I'm careful with the flash drive. Of course I'm careful with the article. And well. To bring it back to you. Well, what does that have to do with what I'm talking about? You're, 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 you, you twist, you're a spin doctor, you twist words around. <laughs> you're the dude, guy doing the spinning. You know, uh... You are uh, doing uh, obeisance to the system there's that nothing, is. There's nothing wrong with you not liking the way the system is. Oh, thank you, Gee. There's Gee, nothing wrong with that. You're allowing that for me? I never said, oh. I never, I never said that the system was good. I never said that the system wasn't of Satan and of this world. I said that you can't say something that of Satan. people in general we uh, know that uh, that's uh, old news are are drawn to those we know that in the it's uh, old news. appearing in the media or in higher places. It's old news. We know that. We accept that. We want it changed. We don't like it. Well, I look at I look at the positive side, even though I try to avoid fighting on this show. The positive side is he likes Bernie Sanders, so I got to give him credit for that. Yeah, I'll give him a few bells. Yeah. Well, now, 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 now it's time for your fucking lunch, and Wait, and, and, and you won't be able to read any, any article. Like I was trying to, I was trying to break it much sooner than this well it well, would have been much easier if you would have said yeah you know that the system is bad I don't I don't like it well you know I don't like I don't the system. It. but 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 in order to well, you, you do like but the you system, you the downplay system. the the uh, the necessity of the 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 frills and the credentials and the kudos and the the PhD or the master's degree or this or that in this world in order to get some in order to get the attention of the masses, you have to have these things. And what did I say? 
Jabroni across the street. What did I say? Nobody's going to pay attention to what you. What did I say? You said don't you don't like, like it. it. Thank you. Thank you. And that's all I said. I want it changed. I want it reformed. Of course, uh, okay. uh, uh, somebody like Bernie Sanders. I don't want to abide by it. Would have would have liked to run as an as an independent democratic uh, uh, socialist instead of a democrat. He, because that's what he was. He was an independent, but he knew he had to run as a democrat. He had to suck it up and do it. Well, <clears throat> that's it. And what if the system was changed? Then he wouldn't have to do that. See. Very if simple. the system was different. Very simple. But it's not different. Thank you. And that's that's part of the reason why people are are campaigning for Bernie Sanders. Is is the, the system is extremely flawed and it needs to be totally changed. Bingo. My argument entirely, ladies but, and gentlemen. But the folder looks a hell of a lot better Ooh. with Photos, high definition, mind you, not a, not some cheap, humble, homeless guy's camera, but high definition of the newspaper articles that shows you were in the newspaper. All right, people still are more attracted to that because it it elevates your status. Uh, that I disagree with. Well, don't you know, do any you're, elevation. You're going to disagree with uh, with things that are, are proven facts. You know, if you go to any sales uh, course or any any school teaching right. sales, right. you'll you'll you'll, you'll learn a what great example. What grabs people? Grabs their great attention. Great example. And what you, is that grabbing? You could dis You could. Dis is that taking a person who actually wants that product, or is that making the person want? Well, of That's course, wrong of, with of course, it has to be sense. the advertisement can't be all bullshit. You know, there has to be a quality product that people need. It has to be a, there has to be a demand for the product in America. Um, uh, to to uh, quality to, product. No, then they then they lie. If it's an American product, they just simply lie, or they have some attractive girl bounce up and down. But they get sales. With her boots. So obviously it works, right? Within the system. But unfortunately the results are bad. Alright, what if what about See? something that's good like a Honda? They advertise in the United States. Honda has problems too. What do you think? But if you tout the the uh, the proven qualities of, of what you're offering, people will respect it if they know it exists and in order for them to know it exists it has to have the exposure and a newspaper or magazine article or being a guest on MSNBC is exposure that's right to get you into the showroom now to get the people to see you to get We're Joe, talking about to cars get the now. masses to see you and We're hear about you cars. And read your article. How do we get to the article? I'm again? talking, talking about, about exposure. Cars. Yeah, well, we're talking about cars. So the exposure, the sales pitch or whatever, is to bring you into the showroom. You know, you, you're, what you're doing is you're totally downplaying and ignoring the validity of showing people that your article was in a newspaper. Exactly. The fluff of that, you're not exactly. seeing the importance of that because exactly. people respect that exactly. because a newspaper and I'm saying that's wrong because a newspaper thought highly enough to print your article oh, and you don't think it you, you just want to be down in the bottom of the well super super I mean it's, it's nice to be humble but you can't be that humble you gotta it's not be humble it's not humility it's not it you gotta be it's out that there. I don't want other people having that power over me it's very simple. Then who's go, who's going to know you exist? Who's going to see anything you write if you don't well, feel... Well, if the local newspaper or whatever the hell it is that you submitted your article to right. existed in another sense. If. Wherein the product that you submitted to them would be accepted without uh, them having the power, it wouldn't matter, would it? No, it wouldn't matter. But what you are doing is you are just genuflecting to every kind of power 
that exists in this system that we have. No, no, no. I want the system done away with. It's bad. How do you? I how, don't like. How do you get the exposure? I think you're losing your mind. How do you get the exposure if you're not in a newspaper or a magazine or a TV talk show? How do you get exposure if nobody knows what you what you're about well, exists? Let's, let's put it on a sense of like people who are running for president or whatever. What if we didn't have to run around that the, the country, uh, Iowa State Fair, and New Hampshire and this that and the other thing, and we had a warehouse? Yeah where the people were thrust before the populace by computer, by television, by radio, you sucking up by the whatever. Whole, the whole fucking show for this. Because you won't for this, stop. For this, this, this obsession with you winning every single debate. No, James. I'm going to clue you in here for something that you just can't grasp. Arguing, teaching has nothing to do with winning or losing. You still need to get the exposure so people... When you go to school and the teacher and professor, <laughs> he teaches you what he has to, uh, to give you to, for, for you to learn. Is he winning? If the professor also... No, no, no. Puts, Stick to what I said. If the pro I'm talking about people... Popularity and building your reputation with the public seeing and reading what you're about. Exposure, exposure, exposure. I'm talking about that and people respect. They don't respect something on paper. They respect that your article was in a publication. That's what, that's what gets the attention. And I'm saying that's wrong. Well, that, okay. that's, that's the, that's the system we're in. Exactly. So what, exactly, what, what and you the, are working hmm. within it, and you like it. Because it I don't. Because it dazzles my eye. It's simple as that. It, it you like it? it I it, don't. It's dazzling. It's okay. like whoa! He was in a big newspaper. Wow! Look, it's no, there. The article. That comes from some sort of insecurity or something. It I looks, don't have that. It looks good. It impresses me. It's but a. But you didn't read the friggin' article. Of course, you have to read it. Oh no, you don't. You just. No, it's a bona fide. Come on, come on, let's go here. This is this is going nowhere. It's a bona fide article. It's a it, fucking it, boner. It verifies. It verifies what the goddamn person who put the goddamn thing in that newspaper. That's who it's verifying, not me. So whose article is the there? The goddamn guy in power. But your name is on the article. Who, who, who deigned uh, to publish it. Your name is Submit. your your name and your article is there though with your name. So, so, so you're in a, you're in a major newspaper. What do you mean so? So there is no so. You should be proud of that fact that you put you're putting newspapers. I'm not. You're not. No. Mm -hmm. I'm not proud of it. I'm I'm, pr I'm I'm disgusted by the fact that. Uh, what I have to say does not get before the public uh, through some uh, corporation. Okay? Yeah, I hear, I hear you. No, you don't hear me. No, I understand what you're saying. No, you don't. No, you like no, what you is, bust I don't. Balls. No, no, I, I, uh, you, you made a good point, but we don't live in that kind of society. Exactly. It's not my fault. I didn't create the system. Aha! Don't yell but at do me. you want to keep it going? Or do you want to change it? I don't think that the uh, uh, you know how you know I know what you you want to do. Uh, you, you know you know these people. You know the Special Olympics when you have some some goof uh, ultra liberal goofball saying we're all winners. Oh look at them! You got to give them credit. Look at that guy he crossed the finish line. No, I believe. I don't know where this comes from. We believe that some people, about. the cream rises to the top, and not everybody is going to be equal. All right. I don't believe in this singing fucking kumbaya and loving everybody, and everybody's perfectly equal. No, I'm sick with that. No, I'm sick. I know he he, he likes that the kumbaya. It has nothing to do with anything. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Where did this come from? The article, just like a degree, 
just like a, a diploma or a certificate. By itself or because somebody higher up it is said open. it's a, hey, It looks is good. damn good. Yeah. So what? That makes the article good? Because someone higher up said, no, it, hey, this is a good article. It enhances the, uh, the respect that others have for you. It enhances it. Only for the insecure. Who did not, uh, you know, what, you accept wanna, you, what you, 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 you want? You want to optimize your uh, exposure no, to I the wanna masses? No, I want to eat. I want to eat. Thank you. He just got, he proved himself that, see, 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 you see what I mean now? James. Conservatives are bad. Ultra liberals have flaws too. They have them, believe me. I was told, I was told, I was being I censored many liberal. times on Facebook. By ultra liberal animal rights I activists have no label. and vegans, they I have no label. also believe in censorship. The ultra liberal. I have no label. No label. Everybody's no even label. the the uh, the poor schmuck uh, 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 crawling on the ground. Uh, oh, the guy who is Mr. Olympia. Everybody's equal. Everybody sing kumbaya and hold hands and kiss. That is a, that is a nauseating society. All this right. This is a Jamesian. It's time to eat. This is a Jamesian idea. I don't know where they come from. It is time. No, I'm exposing the uh, the mentality of the different uh, uh, political well, we systems, ideologies. We weren't and, talking about that. Right, right. We're talking about article and system. Article and system. Which is more important? All right. The system or the article? That's what we're talking okay. about. Stick to it. Um, bu, 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 bu. What lawyer is respected? The one who graduates from Harvard, or the or some uh, uh, small school. If they learn the same thing, it wouldn't matter, would it? They all have to say take the same bar test. They all either pass it or they or don't. Or they fail. Or they don't. That's correct. So what does that prove? What school they came from? Mr. G. W. Bush but who graduated from Harvard but, but, and Yale. But who ends up in 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 the spotlight? The Harvard. Ah, the Ivy Leaguer. In America. The Ivy Leaguer. In America. Spotlight exposure versus uh, nobody knowing you exist. Exactly. That's what we're talking about. All right. Time time for lunch. We'll be back. Oh God. This is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hey, listen, for the real hard hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye bye.
Okay, we're back. Thank you very much, William Hamilton Morrow III, for doing uh, our promo. And, um, and of course, you saw the Bible verses connected to uh, how to defeat a conservative. Hopefully, you you click pause and read them. You know, but uh, we're back. All right, let us sink our teeth into these readings. During the recent debate, our governor, Christy, Christy, Chris talked Christy. about a plan to means test Social Security benefits mm, that don't belong to him to touch to begin with. That would reduce or eliminate Social Security payments to retirees with high post-retirement income. Well, if you're if you're a rich old geezer, you really don't need <laughs> social security. You paid into it. What do you mean need? Yeah, the motherfucker is, is filthy rich though. <laughs> so, All right. you paid into it. Yeah, well, why? Is he, well, I wonder why he cares about that. Who because gets? Because he cares about it because once you get the small change in, you can go for bigger and better stuff. They want to. They want to get their dirty. That's right. Thieving hands on Social Security. That's right. Don't be fooled by Governor Christie's underlying motive. This is a head fake designed to create a new class of angry wealthy voters with little or no stake in continuing the most effective economic security law in U.S. history. Then why isn't someone like this person that wrote the article, why aren't people in New Jersey challenging Chris Christie on the local media? I don't see anybody challenging Chris Christie. The Social Security Act of 1935 they will vote for anti-Social Security candidates. The benefits of Social Security are calculated on the basis of total contributions based on wages paid into the system, starting with one's first part-time job. Personal income after retirement does not count and should not count. The war against Social Security started the day President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed it. Christie is a partisan in this war and likes to call Social Security deductions a payroll tax. <laughs> Fortunately, savvy Americans recognize that it is a savings account that is eventually returned with interest when it is needed the most, when Americans are retired and aging. That was part of the New Deal, FDR's New Deal? It is the underlying signature, most successful program of the New Deal. That's why they want to get rid of it. Social Security was never designed to withhold benefits from wealthy classes. Christie is not finished yet. He adds that our current retirees will be exempt from the proposed changes. No kidding. Let's keep those old fogies on our side and tell the millennials to sit down and shut up. The answer to Social Security's finances is very simple increase the current income cap from $118,000 to a number that will restore balance between contributions and benefits. Probably somewhere between $250,000 and $300,000. In other words, the rich, once they pay their $118,000, they don't pay anymore. Oh, see? But we have to keep paying. So they want to raise the cap. I would take the cap off. 
And you just keep in, baby. Well, the very fact that um, the very fact that the rich have to keep on paying off these Republicans to get their way reflects a lot about the way of thinking that a rich person has. Uh, the whole yes, mindset. Mr. Trump yesterday exposed that very well. Selfishness, greed. Just how miserably you know, stingy. When you give to selfish. someone's campaign, yeah, he became he, he becomes a puppet of yours. He says you better you better you're damn right. I want I want something in return. Thank you. Like uh, about Hillary uh, showing up at his daughter's uh, wedding. And no one will pull Mr. Trumpy's puppet string because no one is giving him money. He's using his own moolah. Yeah, he, his yeah. own plane. He's worth ten billion. His own helicopter. Yeah, so yeah. Etc. Yeah, so you see, but his whole attitude, you know, you you better you better believe it. I, when I want something in return, I'm going to get it. I'm going to I'm, you know, I'm going to demand it or whatever. However, he said it. Yeah. Because he gives he gives to to get favors. He gives. But no one is going to do that with him. Because can't. he's using his own money. Because he's got a lot. He's got his own money. Right. I have been following Donald Trump for a year with a feeling of humor and disgust, trying to find out the substance of his campaign. Most of the time, I have only seen portions of his speeches in the news, so I set about to view an entire one. Maybe he'll tell us, I thought, how he would get Mexico to pay for a wall <laughs> or how he intends to process 11 million Mexicans through the court system. Oh, sure, they're going to build that, that whole border is going to be wall to wall and Mexico is going to pay for it. Huh? <laughs> I clearly heard him, as did the rest of the country, say that the Mexican immigrants are rapists and murderers for the most part without differentiating between legal and illegal ones. I also found a transcript of his campaign announcement speech. There was only one hard fact in it. His statement that the gross domestic product of the United States is zero. He was just off seventeen trillion dollars. No, he wasn't, because we owe out nineteen trillion dollars. So it is zero. I have to hand that to Trumpy. But I can say for sure that the United States is suffering from inflation. The inflation of Trump's ego. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and when the wind blows, his uh, roadkill hair goes up in the air, too, you know. What do they, what, what do they call Bernie Sanders now? The wild-haired one? The oh, one? They're may, yeah, they're trying to make a... The wild-haired socialist? The socialist and the wild hair, you know, his emphasizing is now under attack. He says, uh, he, Dick Bernie He's Sanders says, oh, I'll, I'll start combing my hair when the rich start paying their fair share in taxes. Bingo. Something like that. Bingo. Speaking of Bernie Sanders, <sighs> Bernie Sanders picked up his first major labor endorsement from the nation's largest organization of nurses. Yeah, and, and the ro a roofers union, too, I heard. Oh, yeah, that's the first... Really? That's the first labor endorsement? I thought unions... Uh, Democrats, period. They're for Hillary. The other unions are, are going for Hillary? The Until corporate, she gets knocked out. The corporatists? What the hell are they going to do for the working... What is she going to do for the working people? I'm surprised at them. They got to go with a winner within the system. They got to go with a winner until Bernie's momentum gets overwhelming. Or she gets knocked out. 
with the emails. The, the, yeah, they want to. Uh, they want somebody. Pretty jiggy. They the the unions that go that went for Hillary are very concerned about not allowing a Republican to be elected in 2016. So they're going as well. With, they should be. They're going with the the few crumbs, the lesser of the two evils. Yeah, which is Hillary. Reflecting the Vermont senator's appeal among unions in his challenge to Hillary Clinton for the Democratic presidential nomination. The 185,000 member nurse, National Nurses United endorsed Sanders during an event with the independent senator in Oakland, California. Clinton received the backing of the 1.6 million member American Federation of Teachers. No, brother. A union that includes about 120,000 health care workers. But Sanders' endorsement is noteworthy because about 90% of the NNU's members are women. And these uh, uh, militant feminists are obsessed with putting a woman in the White House. That's all they care about. They have endorsed Bernie. What? The teachers union? The NNU. I thought you said they went with Hillary. Oh. That's what went with Hillary, but the nurses union went with Bernie. Well, that I know, but that's not enough. And 90% of them are women. Oh, that's good then. Well, we need more, you, we need more unions to go with Bernie. Shame on the other union. <laughs> to go with Hillary. We assume because we are a woman's organization, a lot of the nurses would find Hillary Clinton far more resonant because she would break the glass ceiling. Oh, God. Uh, we got to look at the overall picture, too. The, they were far more concerned about breaking Wall Street stranglehold on our economy than the glass ceiling. Much more important. Clinton, who is seeking to become the nation's first female president, met privately with the executive board of the AFL-CIO in late July. Teamsters, don't fall for her, for her uh, siren song. As did Sanders, former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley, and former Virginia Senator Jim Wett. I tell you one thing, I guarantee you Sanders had the best speech in front of the Teamsters out of all three, the out of all four. AFL-CIO, Labor's umbrella organization, has not indicated whether it would endorse a candidate during the primaries. Announcing the endorsement, members of the Nurses' Union pointed to Sanders' record of seeking a single-payer health care system through the expansion of Medicare his work to challenge Wall Street's role in the economy and his opposition to the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal. Moving right along. Moving along. Jeb Bush. vigorously defended some of the defining foreign policies and national security strategies implemented by his brother, G. W. Bush. Should I say a dumb and dumber? As president. Two embarrassments. He casted in a positive light elements of the Iraq War, a conflict that haunted much of Bush's tenure. He notably used wording similar to the mission accomplished. Oh yeah, mission was accomplished, all right. Banner that hung behind the 43rd president as he gave a speech on an aircraft carrier in 2003. The speech was one of the biggest embarrassments of his administration since the war went on for years after that. Hmm. I've been critical 
And I think people have every right to be critical of decisions that were made. In 2009, Iraq was fragile but secure, he said. The mission was accomplished in the way that there was security there. And it was because of the heroic efforts of the men and women in the United States military that it was so. In a question and answer session hosted by Americans for Peace, Prosperity, and Security, held on a college campus here, the Republican presidential hopeful said, the removal of Saddam Hussein from power turned out to be a pretty good deal. And he praised the 2007 troop surge his brother pushed as an extraordinarily effective strategy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's really shoveling it. You know, pretty heavy. you know why they had to use the surge? We see it now. Because the Iraqi army is shit and still is shit. In other words, over 2,500 Humvees were stolen by ISIS from the Iraqi running army. And that's not to say how many tanks they got, etc., etc. Wonderful. Okay. I think Saudi Arabia has them beat by a mile as far as military goes. Well, they're not going to fight against them. I heard they use a small nuke against Yemen. I, I, was, don't, I know nothing about that. I was watching a video of Saudi Arabia using a baby nuke. nuke. I wasn't aware that Saudi Arabia had nukes of any size. Yeah, well, I saw the mushroom cloud. It wasn't gigantic, but Beware I, of posts on the internet. On the debate over interrogation techniques, another issue that dogged his brother, Bush would not say for certain whether he would preserve the executive order President Obama signed banning enhanced interrogation. I do think, in general, that torture is not appropriate, he said. I'm cautious about making commitments without having all the facts, he said. Good idea, no? A new poll finds, <coughs> excuse me, a majority of registered New Jersey voters surveyed think Governor Christie should resign as he mounts a run for the White House. Thursday's Rutgers Eagleton poll finds that 54% want Christie to step down. However, that number drops to 45 <coughs> percent when participants are told about a law being floated by Democrats that would force the Republican and all future governors to resign if running for president. 53 percent of voters also think Christie's constant out-of-state travel hurts his ability to be an effective governor. Christie has spent much of the summer out of town, fundraising and courting potential voters in early voting states. Mm. Well, that proves he's a very self-serving individual. The poll of 757 registered voters has a margin of error of plus or minus 4%. It's the season for barbecues. 
yeah, family relation. Whatever's left of it. I mean reunion, excuse me. An outdoor get together. Despite what they say about religion and politics, the latter topic inevitably comes up for discussion. And when it does, some folks get hotter than the grill. People are angry that the system has been rigged to work only for the rich and the powerful. The presidential candidates know this and they stoke this vehemence. However, since most are either millionaires who buy influence or politicians seeking funding from the 1%, they are actually perpetuating this problem. U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont is the only presidential candidate without a super political action committee. He refuses to take money from billionaires. Wherever he goes, he draws record crowds. At his virtual kickoff rally last month, hundreds of thousands of ordinary Americans gathered at thousands of venues to hear him because they like Sanders. They are fed up with our current corrupt system where money speaks louder than votes. Mm -hmm. Sanders said, today we stand here and say loudly and clearly that enough is enough. This great nation and its government belong to all the people, not to a handful of billionaires. They're super PACs, and they're lobbyists. He's right. Enough is enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are we the people ready to educate ourselves? Step up, work hard, do what it takes to make Sanders our president? Honesty. Yeah, well, they're saying that integrity will do him in. How could it, it? How could it do you in if the people love you more and more as the days go by? Yes, but the people who are elected have no integrity. Oh, like that? They've that, already uh, sold themselves. Like that? Um, that article from. Um, I guess it was from the New Yorker, uh, uh, the first article, which stated that uh, Bernie Sanders is disqualified from being president because you have to be a puppet to be president of the United States. Bingo. You, you cannot have integrity. He has too much integrity. But um, you don't have to be want to. Uh, just like Jesse Ventura says, you do not have to meet with lobbyists. You don't have to play by the system if you can do it another way. But as my example way back when, on the first, uh, you know, situation we went through here, if you were in red China and you wish to have something published that is mm -hmm. positive or against the government, it ain't going to happen because you don't have the power or there ain't someone else with the power to go against the government. Yeah, you have to have backing in a in a very large scale volume. You have to have a lot of people watching your back. We used to have something like that back in the 80s called the Fairness Doctrine. When some Republican got on the radio or television and said some stupid stuff, they were required to allow the Democrat to rebut. I used to watch that when okay. I was a kid in the 70s. I used to watch um, 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 local um, 
shows, local talk shows from New York, uh, uh, where there there always was a rebuttal, editorial rebuttal. Every everybody got equal time. Whatever happened to those days? Mr. Reagan ah. came along and got rid of that shit, and then in the nineties, up popped Fox News. Conservative. He wanted to make sure that conservative propaganda did not get rebuttaled. Exactly. It was one-sided. Because every time it got rebutted, it got put down. And he wanted It was to, a loser. And the brainwashing would not take place. Correct. Correct. Like Reagan kept on saying, well, tax and spend liberals, pork barrel spending, tax and spend, tax and spend. You know, uh, uh, a trickle down, dickle down, whatever. You know, all this bullshit, these talking points that he kept on repeating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Over and over and over. Yeah, yeah. Do you have one of, uh, uh, either a powerful one or one of those uh, light ones, if you know what I mean? Uh, no, I do not, but I have an uh, interesting one. An interesting one. All right, let that be the last one. At last week's Republican presidential debate, Ben Carson said, there are certain people who find it beneficial to stir up race issues. Well, the media loves it. He said something must be done to stop sensationalizing rare occurrences of police misconduct. Rare occurrences? Yes. Oh, really? Ben Carson, rare occurrences. To purposely cause racial divide. Oh, really? So it's not happening in the eyes of Ben Carson? Not that often. Not as often as we see. Is that so? We know that is true. Especially when we see the same faces standing by the family members and stirring up hatred by spewing the same rhetoric to any nearby camera. So all the other um, uh, uh, cases of police brutality throughout the country is really uh, a figment of our imagination. It's, it's, it's an optical illusion. Interesting. I'm never opposed to additional police training. It's important to keep reminding our police of the public's legal and moral right to expect fair and equal what is missing is ongoing police training to stop the cancerous attitude that cops must always protect other cops even when they are caught misusing their authority. I think cops should get a bonus for, for uh, turning in their fellow corrupt cop. But again, <laughs> that system doesn't support that idea. Yeah. Now there's a bonus that's well deserved. That's a hero, giving a bonus to a cop who who uh, who keeps his eye on a corrupt cop and and, and invo is involved with his arrest. And, and he may accidentally be shot with friendly fire. Well, it can't be. He can't be obvious. Well, he's got to be obvious. He's got to present it to somebody. And then that somebody's got to present it to court. Yeah, and there has to be some. You no, know, the kind whistleblowers of, cannot be silent. There has to be some kind of um, witness protection or something. Ah. Some kind. And you better hope the people that are protecting you, mm. the witness, are honest. <laughs> Reversing the brainwashing over many decades of the solid wall of blue mentality is important. Police need continuous training to know they are on their own when they intentionally use their badge for other than good. Good officers must learn that protecting bad and illegal behavior will, in the long run, hurt all cops. Without the guarantee of protection, there will be fewer occurrences of misconduct. The public's respect for police will wane more and more with every rare, rare, but well-publicized misconduct incident. I wonder where, where um, this um, 
protection started, how it started, this wall of protection, how it, it originated from, or how did, how did they, they rationalize? Well, it was used in the mafiosa. No, 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 I mean, I mean the cops. They protect their own? The cops, well, the cops uh, defending uh, um, other cops. Bad uh, cops. Bad, good cops. Yeah. And bad cops, uh, they don't go through a, um, um, it's always a, what is it, uh, a, a civil, a civil charges? It's us against them. It's, yeah. Okay. No criminal uh, prosecution, only uh, civil charges. They can go before a grand jury, but they never convict them. They don't get convicted. No. No. The public's respect for police will wane and wane more and more with every rare but well-publicized misconduct incident. The public is already dismissing all the good that our police do with a that's their job attitude. Only the police can change that attitude and they can do it only by admitting they make mistakes. It's not their job to execute an unarmed civilian by shooting them in the back. And stopping any cover-ups of improper actions. Yeah, no, no one should be above the law. No one. No, no, no politician, police officer, military person or civilian. No one should be above the law. Seems well, like the, the elites way. believe that they are above the law. Uh, this one's too well, long. Well, they can believe it. Republicans can believe what they want to believe, uh, but there's always what is. What is uh, factual information? What they is, man. What they is. I mean, your perception could be anything you want it to be. <laughs> one last one here. All right. Sure, right. And in the deep red corner, wearing a merely a scowl and a menacing attitude, weighing nothing but throwing jabs wildly in the air, with a record of however many wins he tells you he has, is the undisputed champion of the outrageous and absurd, the one and hopefully only Donald Trump. You know, <laughs> as funny as that may sound, he, Donald Trump also makes a lot of sense in some of the things he says. He shows intelligence, so I, I wouldn't make him as absurd as some people make him out to be. There are more absurd Republicans. Oh, indeed they are. Much more <coughs> absurd. Mike Huckabee is one of them. Uh, Rick Santorum is one of them, uh, uh, Ted Cruz, you know, but Donald Trump, he's, he's <laughs> above them. I mean, I have to admit. And the polls show that. I mean, he is, I mean in, in actuality, he's above them. Yeah. <clears throat> in the first round of this fight, it turns out that the referees were the ones throwing the law, the haymaker, excuse me, attacking from the opening bell as they tried to pin Donald Trump against the ropes, making him raise his hand so they could land a body blue by labeling him as an independent and an opportunist. Well, everybody knows the enormous ego of Donald Trump, that he, uh, he is an opportunist, but he also... Uh, I don't know how sincere he is. He, you know, he says a lot of things that make sense, but you know, he's he's he was born rich, silver spoon in his mouth. He's worth over. Father 10, gave him money to get started. Right. He's worth over ten billion. How compassionate could a person like that be in reality? Well, he's going to give the veterans what they need, and he's going to give women Planned Parenthood. what they need. He he's pro Planned Parenthood. I, I hear. In, in well, our, I wouldn't say it like that. Okay. Yeah, he's not one. Of, he's not the really. The problem 
right now with Planned Parenthood is they are accusing Planned Parenthood of selling fetal tissue yeah. from abortions. They are using that. Oh well. They are using that to try to stop all abortions. Based on the fact that the fetal tissue is from, according to a conservatives, bank. a uh, murdered babies. A bank, yes, that's what they're trying to yeah, say. Yeah, they're trying to trying to say that they're yeah. Uh, but what guess it, who used <laughs> fetal tissue in his uh, doctorship? Ben Carson. Correct. Well, it, it, embryos, fetuses, fertilized eggs, scientifically and biblically, 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 biblically but. but Biblically, are not human babies. I just want to start off by making that well, statement. Again, that doesn't matter. They want to use this to try to stop abortion. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Their perception means shit if they don't have facts to back them up. Or if they can get a law passed. Uh, by a bunch of nuts that got elected by poor people. 1920, uh, 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 they got a, in, in states like Kentucky. They got a law that stopped booze. That's another insane a bunch of nuts. Insane prohibition. Well, that's what I'm saying. Liquor was. It could happen. A, a shot of whiskey was demonized back then. Yeah. Even wine and beer, right? Yes. Demonized. It could happen. And those, I bet those were right-wing nuts that passed out. Of course it was. But Trump would not allow them to rope this particular dope and slithered away. Throughout the battle, he drew blood from Rand Paul, attacking him as having a bad night. Governor Christie as presiding over a bad Atlantic City. Well, Rosie O'Donnell! <laughs> as being Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Jeb Bush! Dumb and dumber. As being related to his brother. Die, die, die. And Megyn Kelly as being vulnerable to his counterpunching at any moment. Megyn Kelly? You think he might, she might become a Donald Trump's new assistant? I don't know. This was hand-to-hand -hand combat, not a debate. Now the spin begins as the handlers for each fighter tell us of the victory of their combatant in the ring. Trump will no, now, no doubt be his own huckster decrying his detractors and admiring his own footwork. Our eyes and our ears inform us of little. Rather, the numbers reveal if any real damage was inflicted and if the attacks upon him and his responding insults and intimidations proved to do him no harm. Then, we might well consider a new nickname for Trump. What's that? The Teflon Dawn. Well, his his hair kind of reminds me of a duck's back. <gasps> the way it flips. <gasps> you know? So. <gasps> yeah, um, I think that, you know what? I think it'll be great, and I predict it's going to happen, that the Donald Trump wig and Donald Trump mask. Oh, come on, that's going to be anybody knows that. Will Halloween be, will be the biggest thing Big selling thing. in Halloween history. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. If, uh, if that's Trump, a money maker. And Stephen Colbert says he prays that Trump is still in the race when he takes over the uh, the Late Show. Oh yeah, because he has he has a lot to deliver. He's got a lot to deliver. <laughs> He's, that, that, that's uh, like gold to a comedian. Gold. Well, all the re the whole Republican clown bus is gold. It's gold, Jerry. Gold, man. T Kenny Banya. Jerry, it's gold. <laughs> what is going to be gold also is when they they start start dropping like flies. 
it's like gotta, rats leaving gotta, a sinking ship. It's gotta happen. It has to. Perry and Rand Paul already, Trump says, are finished. Yeah. What about uh, no more uh, money. what about the uh, the pecker nose, uh, the pointy nose, nah, the Ted there. Cruz, still there. the one that always looks like he's crying like a baby. Rand Paul monster. Yeah, Grandpa Munster. He's still there. And what about the ugly... No insult to Grandpa! What about the ugly Fiorina? Fiorina. The Carly Fiorina. The ugly Faccia There's Bruta. There's not too much to say about her. The Faccia Bruta. She is ugly. She is... She's a fake, phony, and a fraud. Yeah. Because, as I said, if it's not four companies, it somewhere's around four companies, she drove them into the ground. She outsourced jobs. And she got kicked out by Hewlett Packard. That'll come out eventually. But it's out there. People, the, if people, once they start debating, you know, the the, the debating will get more uh, furious and savage. Well, her debating so far has been targeted against Hillary. She's after okay. she's after Hillary because assuming assuming that. Hillary is the one that she would have to target, but you notice that uh, not one of them would, would would survive in the debate against Bernie Sanders. Yeah, well, basically, she's probably saying in her own mind, her own perception, I'm a woman too, and I could be the first woman president, <laughs> not just Hillary. Yeah, you see, the problem with Bernie Sanders is he's he has a little, just a little uh, bit of ultra liberal pacifist tendencies Look, in terms of debating with the. We are over enemy. a year to go. He won't use, he won't go for, for Hillary Clinton's jug, jugular vein. You know when the first. He, he, he is playing the gentleman right you now. You know when the first Democratic debate will be? When? I believe it's October. The very first one? Yeah. So by that time, his momentum might be double what it is now. What I'm saying is, we got over a year before the election. He, 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 he doesn't What goes want, on now is, you know... He, you know... I'm not talking he, about Bernie. I mean, he considers, like a lot of uh, uh, um, progressives, they consider... Um, Mudslinging and and uh, attacking your opponent uh, to be dirty politics. Well, I don't say it's negative. If you're telling the truth, you're never being plain dirty. You're telling right the now, truth. Right now, even being over a year away, the populace does not want to hear that kind of stuff. They want to hear policies. What are you going to do? to improve my life. Or as Reagan said, right. are you better off today than you were four years All right. ago? What about, what about, uh, that's well and good, but what about uh, a person's track record affecting how they would govern? Like Chris Christie has, an, in reality, a bad track record. But we are a year away. Things could happen, people could drop like Th flies. That was, it's too damn early That's right. to project. And to make decisions and stuff like okay. that. Okay. Just hear what everybody's yeah. got to say. Laugh if you want. Cry if and you want. Let nature take its course there because they will start dropping like flies. There you go. And that. Thank you for joining us for another uh, a ferocious, uncensored, hard, hitting truth. Have a safe and fun weekend. God willing, we'll see you next time. Creek don't rise. Yeah. Creek don't rise. You know, it's been a wet summer. It's usually no, dry. no, no, no. We are down in the reservoirs. Something like three oh, inches or more. Yes, we are. Then how come the lawns are not all burnt? I don't know. Usually, don't know. usually the lawns are all burnt like hay. I don't know, but we are down. You know? And the other day, they were supposed to get two, three, four inches some places. We didn't get it. Yeah. Didn't get it. Interesting. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.